imagine a place where some of the brightest minds come together, not for profit, but to create something that could change the world. This is the story of OpenAI, a unique venture aimed at developing artificial intelligence in a way that benefits humanity, supposedly. At the heart of the story are two individuals, Sam Altman and Ilya Sutskever. Their vision and actions are shaping the future of AI. From humble beginnings, being just a small startup that nobody cared about, to groundbreaking innovations such as ChatGPT, will trace a journey of how a crazy idea became a reality that is influencing all of us. Well, let's go on the journey of OpenAI and the birth of ChatGPT. Sam Altman, born in Chicago, always had an inclination towards the technical world. He was more interested in the inner workings of gadgets than playing outside, for example. His curiosity led him to dig deeper into the realms of technology, which in turn opened the gates to the fascinating world of programming and artificial intelligence. Sam graduated Stanford and co-founded a startup named Looped, a location-based social network company, which was eventually acquired by Green Dot Corporation. This successful exit, along with his investments, is how he generated his initial wealth. Obviously, the the entrepreneurial spirit didn't end there. In 2015, he founded OpenAI, a small tech startup in the heart of San Francisco, the Silicon Valley. And the list with the initial board members is actually quite long. We have Ilya Sutskever, Greg Brockman, along many other people, and of course, Elon Musk. The mission of the company has never been to develop AI, it has been to develop AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. And more specifically, the goal was to make the AGI available to everybody and not just to a few. Therefore, OpenAI has been set up as a non-profit organization, yet AI development is costly. So it is fair to say that if it wasn't for Elon Musk to fund the company from the very beginning, we probably wouldn't have had ChatGPT today. You were one of the big contributors early on. The, the reason I, I am the reason OpenAI exists. There were many projects and developments that happened at OpenAI before we got to know about ChatGPT. One of the early landmarks was the release of Jim in 2016, a toolkit for developing and comparing reinforcement learning algorithms. This was an open invitation to the global community of AI enthusiasts to join in learn and contribute. As the days rolled on, OpenAI's portfolio grew. But of course, the generative pre-trained transformer, more known as GPT, is what caught the eye of the global tech community. ChatGPT2 was partially released in February 2019 with a full release of the 1.5 billion parameter model on November 5th, 2019. And it was already fascinating to experts in the field, such as Geoffrey Hinton. However, we, the normal people, didn't really know about any of this until Sam Oldman decided to create this simple chat window that we now know as ChatGPT. This is how the magic of AI became available to the public. We actually had the technology behind it, the model behind it, created almost a year prior. We made it accessible, right? We built an interface that was super simple. It was kind of the simplest interface we could think of. So ChatGPT 3.5 was launched on November 30th, 2022. And this 175 billion parameter model was nothing short of a marvel. But shortly after, on March 14, 2023, we of course got ChatGPT4. Ilya Sutskever, a name associated with deep learning and innovative thinking, is one of the maestros who has orchestrated the development of ChatGPT. Born in Nizhny Novgorod, Russia, he immigrated to Israel at age 5 with his family. He learned to code when he was 6 years old. Of course he did. And then when he was 16, the family moved to Canada. His academic journey led him to the University of Toronto, where he pursued a PhD in machine learning and computer science under the guidance of not just anybody, but the renowned professor Geoffrey Hinton himself. 
also known as the godfather of deep learning. During this time, he made notable contributions to the field, co-authoring seminal papers that would lay the foundations for the future of deep learning. He's also the co-inventor of AlexNet, which is a convolutional neural network. In 2013, Ilya joined Google as part of Google Brain Team. His work there further pushed the boundaries of what machines could learn and comprehend. Specifically, this is when he created the sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning algorithm. He has also worked on TensorFlow. Overall achievement after achievement, but yeah, there is a but. For one, he was heavily criticized for his belief in the power of neural networks. For many years, he wasn't taken seriously by experts in the field because they didn't see the potential in neural networks the way he did. And I wonder how those people feel now. But the second issue was that the vast potential in which Ilya believed that AI possessed wasn't really supported by Google. Later on, another key figure in the pursuit of AGI, Mustafa Suleiman also shared that Google's resistance to share AI development has hindered his work in progress. Basically, Google has been avoiding the release of their AI products partly because tools such as ChatGPT um, defeat the purpose of having Google. So in 2015, Ilya joined OpenAI and became the chief scientist of the company and eventually he's the main architect behind ChatGPT. And before we move on, just let's give a quick overview of some of his other awards because I just really believe it deserves a minute. 2015, he was named in MIT Technology Review's 35 Innovators Under 35. 2018, he was the keynote speaker at NVIDIA NTech 2018 in AI Frontiers Conference. 2020, he was elected a fellow of the Royal Society. As we said at the beginning, OpenAI has been a non-profit organization from day one, yet a very expensive startup. They also aimed at collaboration and bringing brilliant minds on board, but those brilliant minds also cost money. So collaboration wasn't just a good idea, it was a necessity. In the initial chapters of OpenAI, once again, Elon Musk played a significant role. As the narrative unfolded, Elon Musk's involvement with OpenAI took a backseat. The official version is that he had a disagreement with senior executives over the speed and nature of technological advancement. According to him, he didn't like their approach because it wasn't safe. But also, he wanted to become a CEO, and when he proposed it, the other members didn't vote for him. So he packed, he left, and he took his money with him. Yeah, I, I, I fully admit to being a huge idiot here. So now we have a non-profit AI startup that needs money and technology in order to pursue further its goal of AGI. And it cannot be Google because, as we said, Google didn't want to create its own replacement. So who would you like to see Google fail the most? Microsoft. In 2019, Microsoft invested $1 billion in OpenAI. In January 2023, they confirmed that they are going to invest another $10 billion. And Microsoft's involvement wasn't just about capital, but also about providing a robust technological infrastructure. OpenAI could now leverage Microsoft's Azure Cloud Platform to scale its research and developmental activities. And we know what happened next. Now, it's more than obvious that the goal is AGI. But they're not alone. There's another key figure, the main rival to OpenAI and Sam Altman. And this is Mustafa Suleiman, the founder of DeepMind. His goal is also AGI and he's very vocal about it. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make such a video about him and his part in the race to AGI. One way how OpenAI made their goal crystal clear is by quietly changing their values on their website. We used to see things such as thoughtful, unpretentious, impact-driven, and etc. Very nice, very sweet. But now we simply have this. It's AGI focus, and even more specifically, anything that doesn't help with that, it's out of scope. Another difference now is that OpenAI is everything else but 
open and actually i was looking for an answer to this and one thing i found was this conference where Ilya Sutskever gave a very unsatisfying answer in my opinion could the open source llm potentially match gpt4's abilities without additional technical advances or is there a secret sauce in gpt4 unknown to the world that sets it apart from the other models or am i wasting my time installing stable vicuña <laughs> 13 billion plus wizard am i wasting my time tell me there is a secret source that will never be rediscovered what i will say or whether gpt4 will ever be reproduced by open source models perhaps one day it will be but when it will be there will be a much more powerful model in the companies. But he did give a more specific answer in a recent interview. Right now, it is indeed the competitive phase. But I claim that as the capabilities of these models keep increasing, there will come a day where it will be the safety consideration that will be the obvious and immediate driver to not open source these models. What do you think about all this? Do you think the reason for not having open source from OpenAI is because of safety, competition, something else? Also, some people say that AGI has been cancelled because some high-level stakeholders are not excited about having AGI. Yet other people say that we can expect AGI as soon as 2025. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!